gates are on for the series premiere of Talkum and Dean's Dancing on Ice. Then at the new time, CSI, and later a premiere special, Jamie's Journey. But coming up next, Bert's Family Feud. This program brought to you by Dora the Explorer, the CD-ROM click and create collection for children in News Agents Now. Welcome to night two of our Dancing on Ice Family Feud for $100,000. Tonight, it's last night's winners, the Ice Queens. Welcome, Brian Rooney, Trisha Broadbridge, Lara Bingle, and Annalise Brackensee. Going against the very best in the Ice Masters. James Orville, Christopher Lee, and judges Karen Barber and Belinda Noonan. Both teams are ready to play Burt's Family View. And now... Thank you, Catherine. And good evening and welcome to our second night of a very, very special event, which of course begins tonight at 7.30 on the Nine Network, and that is Torval and Dean's Dancing on Ice. It'll be a huge night. Our carryover champions are uh, $10,000 richer for the Reach Broadbridge Fund. They're back tonight to try and get that $100,000. Please welcome the Ice Queen. <laughs> John, nice to see you. See you John again. Rooney is the, uh, the captain of the Ice, uh, Ice Queens. That was a great start last night. Yes. $10,000. And are the two the same top players tonight? Or? No, we're going to have a bit of a tactical change. All oh, right, but first you've got to win it, though. First you've uh, yes. got to win it. Introduce the team for us, Jan. Again, we have Young Australian of the Year, Trisha Broadbridge. <laughs> Face of Australia, Miss Lara Bingle. Yes. Model, actress, and super hot chick, Miss Annalise Brackenberry. It's great to have you back. Good luck for tonight. Would you like to meet the competition? Oh, yeah. It is terrific to have with us four very important names in skating, ice skating, and they are known as the Ice Masters for our show. Paul <laughs> and Dean, of course, are Wills Jane. Good to see you uh, again. And thank you for doing this. I know you've Pleasure. got a, a very busy time and we're looking forward to the shows. They should be terrific. How are they going so far? They're going fantastic. They're amazing. The, the hard work they put into it, it's really beginning to show now. Wonderful. Now, the team that w is here with you tonight, I'm not too sure of the gentleman uh, beside you. Would you mind um, introducing... Uh, what's his name? Yeah, what's yeah. his name? Yeah. Christopher, welcome back to <laughs> Australia. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Be here. And Karen is here. This is Karen Barber. She's a former British champion, British coach, and one of the judges on the show. Terrific. And Belinda, who hasn't got a name tag. This does prove your popularity, though. Someone souvenired it. And I've got a suspicion it may have been one of the girls in the Ice Queens to sort of take your concentration away. I think afterwards we'll have to search each of them to see if the name tag is uh, anywhere. That'll so, be up to yeah, you. So introduce Belinda too. Belinda Noonan. Um, she's um, our import because we're all Brits, you see. So we've imported an Aussie mm -hmm. for our team. It's uh, Former you. Australian champion and also one of the judges. Lovely. Tonight. OK. <laughs> Well, $100,000 we, uh, we could be giving away to the charity tonight. Are we ready to play? Are you right to go, ladies and gentlemen? Away we go, Gian and Jane. Come on, oh, Gian. And Jane. OK, Jane. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> it's time I've done this. Do you want to shake hands or...? Uh... What a, no. Do it sure. yeah, why not? And that was really meant. OK, we surveyed 100 people and the top seven answers are on the board. Name a sport where you need a good grip. Gian. Tennis. Tennis. Is tennis on the board to start the night off for Gian and her team? Yeah, number one. So pass or play? Play. Pass or play? Play. Yeah. Play. 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 Or, or we'll play. Go and we'll play. play. We'll see you soon, Gian. <laughs> Trisha, good evening again. 100 people, the top seven answers on the board, as I mentioned, of a sport where you need a good grip. I'm going to say cricket. Cricket. Is cricket there on the board for Trisha? Yeah. Yes. Big start for the Ice Queens. Lara? 
I'm going to have to say water skiing. Water skiing? You certainly need a good grip at both ends of the How's Your Father, don't you? So let's uh, have a look and see if water skiing is there for you. No, it's not. It's strike one. It's surprising. What? Well, you need a good grip. I'll say racing car driving. Racing car driver for the beautiful Annalise. Is it there? No, it's not. Strike two. And our new opposition are waiting to, uh, to steal. So it's back to you, Jian. Good grip. I'm not very good at this sport, but I'm going to say golf. Golf. Looking for golf for the Ice Queens. Do we have golf on the board? Yes, it's number two. <laughs> Patricia, why are you jumping up and down? Because <laughs> I don't think I can come up with the answer. Oh, well, that's okay. We'll just see. I'm just psyching myself up. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, is it working? Not really. All right. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll all be over in a sec. You'll hear a sound. We won't, we'll just move on to Laura. <laughs> the question is a sport where you need a good grip. Okay. Base, baseball, softball. Baseball, softball. Baseball, softball oh. for Tricia. Getting two for the price of one there. <laughs> is it there? No. Oh. Well, the chance to steal now for the, uh, oh, for the Ice Masters. Any ideas there, Belinda? Abseiling. Abseiling? Karen? Rugby. Rugby. Uh, Christopher? Rowing. Rowing. You can take any one of those answers, Jane, or come up with your own, whichever you prefer. Okay, this is I'd to go, win the I'd round, go, by the way. I'm <laughs> going for the rugby, I think. Going for rugby, and this is to win the round. Is it there? No, it's not. <laughs> what else was on the board? Let's have a look. There was gymnastics, there was weightlifting, there was football, and there was tug of war. 54 for the Ice Queens. We're back after this break on our second special night of Torval and Dean's Dancing on Ice on Burt's Family Feud. Ahead in National 9 News, Peter Costello tells John Howard he wants to be PM before the next election. Seven people in court over Australia's biggest optional skaters. have accepted the challenge to turn Australian ice white hot. It's live and dangerous. Every week someone will be frozen out. The most spectacular live event is set to begin. Torben Dean's Dancing on Ice. Premieres tonight, 7.30 live on Channel 9. Round two on our second special show to celebrate Torval and Dean's Dancing on Ice, 7.30 tonight. And now, uh, Trisha and Christopher, let's play round two. <laughs> they look fair dinkum too. Are you right to go? Get your hand down, thanks. Yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's just uh, warn you, this is a Burt's bonus question. $500 behind number one. Yeah. I'll, I'll number get one. that one. Okay. We surveyed 100 people and the top six answers are on the board. Name something you wouldn't want to happen on the first day of a new job. <laughs> okay, uh, that uh, little pause there was brought to you by the Noiseless <laughs> Typewriter Company. Right? So, Tricia. You wouldn't want to be late. Wouldn't want to be late. The audience seems to agree with that. Is it on the board? Oh, yeah. Yeah, number one, Bert One, two, three. That's right, Chris. Four, five. <laughs> you got to pass or play? Oh. Oh. Got to pass. Oh, wow. <laughs> they passed. <laughs> so it's down to uh, to Karen. Something you wouldn't want to have happen on the first day of a new job. You get lost. Get on, on the way to, to the new building. Right. We'll, we'll, we'll... Of the new job. Yeah, sure. We'll just bring that down to a couple of uh, words and see if it's there on the board for you. No, it's not. So that's strike one, oh Belinda. You wouldn't want your car to break down. Wouldn't want your car. A car breakdown. Sounds good. Is it good, according to the survey? No, it's not. So once again, the Ice Queens are waiting to skate away with the money. Jane, back to you as captain. Something mm -hmm. you wouldn't want to have happen on the first day of a new job. Um, you wouldn't want to be sick. Sick? 
Audience once again uh, says that sounds good, but their record's not all that hot. Let's have a look. Uh, sick. Wouldn't need to be sick. Yes. Christopher. Um, I've had a long time to think about this. It's really lame. <laughs> Wouldn't want to lose a tooth. <laughs> My job, I won't want to lose a tooth. No, well, that's, <laughs> that's right. So, obviously, from the start, it was going to be skating for you, wasn't it? <laughs> OK, looking for... Uh, won't be long, girls. <laughs> <laughs> looking for uh, Liz Tooth. Oh, oh, God! That's a surprise. Well, what a surprise that was, Christopher. Annalise, any ideas? Yes, I would not like to get fired on the first day of my new job. No, I wouldn't say much to your ability, would it? Right. Lara? I wouldn't like to have an argument. Argument? Yeah. Trisha? Say a swear word. Say a swear word? <laughs> yep. Yeah. And Gian, you can take one of those well, three answers. I wouldn't like to yourself. argue or swear at my boss, but I definitely wouldn't want to get fired. Fired. Mm. Okay. Well, this is, this is to win the round. You made a good start, as you did last night. Let's see if you can do it again. And that is get fired. Sacked. Whatever. Yeah. Yes! 107. What else was on the board? And forget names and spill food. Double points is coming up, so it means nothing that the Ike Masters are on zero at the moment. Either team can still win, and don't forget they're playing for a very worthwhile cause, the Reach Broadbridge Fund. We're back with you after this break. Double points. 107 uh, to the Ice Queen so far yet to score the Ice Masters, but all of that can change as we play round three, which is double points. And Lara and Karen, come out and play with me. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. Does it mean... It means, do you want a good mark? That's I'll psych you out. Uh, oh, I see, of course. Yeah, and you're going to be one of the judges, aren't yes, you? Am. Wow. You're looking forward to the, uh, the show? I'm a bit nervous, huh? but it's fun. Yeah, yeah looking of course forward it is. to it. Half past seven tonight, by the way, on the Nine Network. We surveyed 100 people. Don't forget, this is for double points. Got to get a result. And the top five answers are on the board. Name a way to wake a deep sleeper. Karen. <laughs> nudge them. Nudge them. OK. <laughs> We're looking for nudge or nudge. Nudge or nudge them. Yeah, shake them, same thing. You've got to get the top answer now to have the chance to either pass or play. A way to wake a deep sleeper. Put a bucket of water. Where? With the bucket of water. Bucket of water or water treatment. Is it there? Yes! Pass or play? Pass or play? What do you reckon, girls? Any moment you like. Yeah? Okay, let's play. Yeah, fair enough. Those eyes of yours are almost like saucers now. Are you worried about something? I am. What? I just have not got the kind of mind that thinks, I guess, mainstream. So I don't <laughs> want to let the team down. Right. I'm a little bit of a kooky hippie, you know, so... A little bit of a one? Nothing. A nothing? <laughs> All right. You didn't steal that name tag, did you? I promise you. Uh, my, lang my name's long enough. I don't need any more names. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. A way to wake a deep sleeper. I will say, yell at them. Yell at them. Yell at them. Is that there for Annalise? Yeah. Wonderful. She's not just beautiful, she's also got the grey matter too. Mm -hmm. Jeanne? I would know one way that I would hate to be woken, and that's to be tickled. Tickled. Well, I'll always keep that in mind, Jeanne. <laughs> a way to wake a deep sleeper, tickle. Oh. Nice, right one. Trisha? <laughs> How do you do, Bertie? <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, nice you to know? meet you too, yeah. Um, Are you psyching yourself again? Yes. I will say pinch. Pinch. Yes. Pinch. Is that the same as tickle? Oh, no. no. Look, it I guess it depends how you do it. That's, that's a pinch. And, really? And that's a tickle. I enjoyed that. Yeah. <laughs> OK, back to the show. A way to wake a deep sleeper. And what did you say? I forget now. Pinch. 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 Is pinch there? No, it's not. Oh. Strike two in the opposition. They're waiting to, uh, to steal. On. What do you mean? Go. It's a little show called Bert's Family Feud. It's on every, uh, every night. We have a family of four over here and a family of four over there. And we Thanks, see if we can Bert. give away $100,000.
and we also have questions. Uh, a way to wake a deep sleeper. The alarm clock. The alarm clock. Oh, yes. Now you've got, I don't want to make, you know, it's too pressurised for you, but you've got two strikes against you. If you're wrong on this one, it means straight over world, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Okay, looking for alarm clock for, uh, for Lara. Yeah! Yes! Yeah. Well, at least those eyes are opening again. I don't want to put pressure on you either. Well, not this sort of pressure anyway. Uh, this is your chance to win the oh, game. goodness me. Yes. Um, oh, you're okay. an old-fashioned thing, goodness me. Uh, a way to wake a deep sleeper. Yeah, that's uh, the question. Have we had yell at them? We've already had yell at them? Well, yeah, yes, we've yeah. had. I'll say, I'll say kick them. <laughs> kick them! Kick hey, them. get up! Uh, get up! Yep, yeah, uh, well, uh, kick them from dear Annalise. <laughs> kick them. No, it's not there. So the chance to steal now goes to the Ice Masters, and they need a score, Belinda. Yes. Just an idea. Um, this is what I'd do. I think I'd slap them. Slap them? Karen? I think I would pull the duvet off. Pull the duvet off. Uh, the the, 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 the <laughs> duvet. The, uh, <laughs> the, the duvet. Yeah, duvet. It's duvet. Yeah, it, uh, <laughs> it's duvet du over there. Du duvet could be something totally <laughs> different. <laughs> Uh, different. I suppose it depends. I know you're trying to wake. Uh, Christopher. With my first answer, you know I'm coming from somewhere a little strange. <laughs> so I'd hold their nose. <laughs> but that could kill them. <laughs> wake them up. <laughs> Jane, has he, always, has he always been like this or was he normal once? He was once, yes. Right. yes. Jane, you can take one of those questions or you can just choose one of your own. A way to wake a deep sleeper. Um, I like the taking the sheets off. Taking yeah. the sheets off, or clothes, to, uh, to win the round. Is it there? No, it's not. So, the Ice Queens have done it again. Let's have a look at the board. One to go, and that was slapped them. Now, the Ice Masters are going to stay around, so I won't say goodnight to them yet, but your two top players, please come on over for tonight. With a score of 257, you've done well. Gian and, uh, and Lara. Now, who's actually answering first? I'm going to answer first. Okay, yeah. Lara, you go into the soundproof booth with uh, with Catherine there. Congratulations, that was well Thank done you. by the uh, the Good Ice Queens. Team. And of course, we're playing for the uh, Reach Broadbridge Fund. We've got ten thousand dollars, five hundred, ten thousand five hundred dollars already. It could be an extra one hundred thousand dollars after this break. Next in National 9 News, Peter Costello stays as treasurer, but big differences remain with John Howard. A mother tells how she saw her son mauled by a dog. And the new boss of the state's roads. Details at 6. See you soon. Tonight... Shake that. Yeah, I'm blowing it, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is my floor. You're just dancing on it. Torvald Dean's Dancing on Ice. Premieres tonight, 7.30, live on Channel 9. This program brought to you by Dora the Explorer, the CD-ROM Click and Create collection for children in News Agents Now. $11,000 has gone to Torvald and Dean's Dancing on Ice stars tonight for the Reach Broadbridge Fund. And I forgot that you actually won two $500 Burt's bonuses. Yes, That's why it becomes the 11000 Now, Gian, I'm going to ask you five questions in 20 seconds, and then I'll ask Lara the same five questions. She's locked away there in the soundproof <laughs> booth. If the two of you reach 200 points or more, you'll win the cash. And depending on how many top answers you give us, that could be $100,000. <laughs> Your 20 seconds begin at the end of me asking the first question. And good luck again, Gian. Name something in the house that has a screen. A door. Name something you wrap around your hair. A scrunchie. Name something you associate with boats. Sail. Name something you find in the gym. Weights. Name something people cram things into. Pencil case. Right. How do you feel about that? Oh, a few dodgy ones. Yeah? Well, you got through them. That's the important ones. thing, and that is a start. Let's have a look together. Question one. Name something in the house that has a screen. 
You said door. Survey says 18. It's a start. Name something you wrap around your hair. Your answer was scrunchy. Survey says 7. 25. Name something you associate with boats. Your answer, Jian, was sail. Survey's answer to that is 15, 40, need 160. Name something you find in the gym. You said weights. Survey says 39, good start. 79, need 121. Last, name something people cram things into. You said pencil case. Survey says zero. Well, 79, you need 121. Let's bring Lara out from the booth. <laughs> There's the score, That's 79, struggling. 121. But it can be done, just to keep remembering last night. And do you want to find out how much you're playing for? Yes. Here's Paul. Gian, you scored one top answer, so for the Reach Broadbridge Fund, you're playing for $10,000. Yes! Which would make it 21,000 in total. Thanks, Gian. <clears throat> Okay, Lara, are you right to go? Uh, I'm ready. You'll have 25 seconds. Uh, you'll have uh, uh, to answer the questions. If you repeat one of Gian's answers, you'll hear this. <coughs> that means try again. And let's remind everybody of uh, Gian's answers. Your 25 <coughs> seconds begin at the end of me asking the first question. Good luck, Lara. Name something in the house that has a screen. TV. Name something you wrap around your hair. Elastic. Name something you associate with boats. Motor. Name something you find in the gym. Treadmill. Name something people cram things into. A box. Oh, uh, that <laughs> sounded pretty good. How'd you feel about that? It's the first time in the hot seat for you. Bit, bit feel, nervous. Feel confident? Yeah, it's let's, all right. <laughs> let's see how you Hopefully. Did. Yeah, we'll have a look together. 10,000. Name something in the house that has a screen. You said TV. Survey answers 35. 114, need 86. Better at the stage than last night. Name something, and TV was the top answer. Name something you wrap around your hair. You said hair elastic. Survey says 14, 128, 72, towel was the top answer. Name something you associate with boats. You answered motor. Survey says three. Aww. Top answer was water, 69 you need. Name something you find in the gym. You said treadmill. What does the survey feel? 24, 155 weights was the top answer. Name something people cram things into. You need 45 points. You said box. Survey says four. Oh. Missed out by 41. Suitcase was the top answer. But that is $11,000 going to the Roots Broadbridge Fund. We thank the guys from last night and the teams from tonight. Don't forget it's 7.30. On the network, Torval and Dean's Dancing on Ice. You have the chance to renew acquaintance with these terrific people who've been with us last night and tonight. Thanks for watching. Thanks to them again. And we'll see you tomorrow night, same time, same station. Good night. Weather in a Flash. Brought to you by GIO Home Insurance. GIO. We don't just listen. We do. It was a very mild day in Sydney with fresh westerly winds back to winter temperatures tomorrow. But I'll give you the complete weather forecast coming up in National 9 News.